Now, have you ever been working in Photoshop and noticed weird little symbols appearing in your document tabs? A random asterisk here and a hashtag there. And you're thinking, what is Photoshop trying to tell me? Well, in this video, I'm going to decode those cryptic symbols for you so that once you know what they mean, you'll realize how useful they are. So first, let's talk about what we're looking at. At the top of your Photoshop workspace, you've got your document tab. It shows you the file name, the zoom level, the bit depth, and sometimes these little symbols pop up. Now, nothing's broken when you see these. Photoshop is just giving you a quick status update about your file and its color management without you having to dig through a bunch of menus. Now, there are actually three main symbols that you'll see, and each one tells you something different. So let's break them down one by one. So kicking off then, symbol number one, the asterisk after the file name. Now, Photoshop is really sensitive about this. I mean, really sensitive. If you do literally anything to your image, it will appear, even down to toggling a layer's visibility on and off. But here's why it matters. That star is telling you that what you're seeing on screen is different from what's saved on your hard drive. So if your computer decided to crash right now, you'd lose all that work. Sure, there's the recovery function in Photoshop, but you don't want to rely 100% on that. The fix though is super simple. Just save your image. Press Ctrl and S on Windows or Command and S on Mac to save your image in its current state and the star disappears. Photoshop now considers your document safe again. Now, symbol number two, the asterisk inside the parenthesis or the brackets. Now, this one's in a completely different spot and it means something completely different. If the star is tucked inside the brackets next to the bit depth, it's not about saving anymore. It's about color management. What this asterisk is telling you is that your file's color profile doesn't match your working color setup. So for example, maybe you're working in sRGB and it's your default, but the image you've just opened is tagged with Adobe RGB 1998. Think of it like this. The document is speaking a slightly different color language than your default workspace. Now, should you worry about this? Well, that depends. Most of the time, you don't really need to be overly concerned about this. It's normal if you work with lots of different files. Where it really matters, though, is when you start combining images into a single composite. You generally want them using a consistent profile for predictable color when you paste, convert, or export. Now, let me just show you another time you might see this. Here I have an image in Lightroom. This is a raw file, and as it's in Lightroom, it's within the Adobe equivalent of the Profoto RGB color space. It's actually called Melissa RGB. So now I'm going to send this image into Photoshop. And when I do, it sends it over as a TIFF file and assigns the Profoto RGB color space to ensure maximum color information. But look, here we see the asterisk within the brackets telling me that there is a difference between the color space of the image and the working color space of Photoshop. So if I go to the Edit menu and then Color Settings, we can see here that I have the working space of my Photoshop set to Adobe RGB, different to the image, which is why I can see the asterisk. But now look, when I change the working color space of Photoshop, also to Profoto RGB, the asterisk goes away. Now this color space mismatch is often the reason why I hear a lot of people asking me, why is it that my image looks different in Lightroom than when I put it into Photoshop? Why do they look different? And it's often because the working color space of Photoshop is different to the much larger color space of Lightroom. All right, symbol number three, the hash or the hashtag symbol. If you see this inside the brackets, it means your image is an untagged RGB. There's no embedded color profile attached or assigned to it at all. Photoshop has no explicit instructions telling it how those RGB numbers are supposed to be interpreted. It's like opening a document written in an unknown language. Photoshop just has to make an educated guess. So where do these untagged images come from? Well, quite simply, places like screenshots, web images, 
or older files where the metadata has been stripped out. When Photoshop opens an untagged image, it assumes a color profile based on your color settings, but that may or may not match how the file was originally created. So should you worry about the hashtag symbol? Well, if color accuracy is critical, like your printing, working on branding, or matching other assets, then yes, definitely pay attention to that hashtag. Different assumptions about the profile can lead to noticeable differences in appearance between systems. As for the fix, pretty much 99% of the times you'll just need to go to the edit menu, then convert to profile, and there in the destination space profile, choose the color space that you want to convert the image to. Now, obviously having made this change, there's now going to be an asterisk indicating there are unsaved changes. So we go to file and we save the file. And then the asterisk has gone. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Having the asterisk after the file name means you've got unsaved changes. So simply press Command S or Control S and it'll disappear. Having the asterisk within the brackets means there is a color profile difference. The document's profile doesn't match your color working space. Usually fine, but watch out when combining images. And then the hashtag within the brackets basically means it's an untagged RGB with no color profile embedded. Photoshop is assuming a profile based on your settings, but this is really important to get right if color accuracy matters. And there you have it, those mysterious symbols decoded. And once you know what they mean, they actually become really helpful little indicators that can save you from color headaches way down the line. Well, that's all I've got for this video. So click the thumbs up if you got something from it. And hey, if you haven't yet, click on subscribe. It is free after all, so it doesn't cost you anything, but it makes a huge difference to this channel. I'll see you in the next one. Sometimes it feels like you're creating in silence. Just you, your camera, and the glow of your screen. But something's missing. A connection. A community. But now you've found it. This is the Photography Creative Circle. Inside, you'll find a classroom, live calls, feedback sessions, a member map, meetups, and a thriving forum that never sleeps. And every month brings new workshops, expert talks, and community challenges to keep you learning and inspired. The Photography Creative Circle is a worldwide community, providing a safe space for creatives to connect, share, get feedback, grow, and building friendships. Join us today with a seven-day, no-commitment-free trial and start your creative journey. It'll be great to have you part of the community.